Hello and welcome to a quick video showing you how to mount the SPM 4649T serial telemetry receiver onto the Spectrum F400 flight controller. So if you're looking at those pads here, they say receiver. And then we have the receiver itself here. And if you remove the cover um, and look at the bottom, you see those three pads here. Well, actually those are through holes. And if you remove this connector here, you can pretty much just solder this little pin here on here. And then that thing stacks like this onto the flight controller, which is pretty awesome, I think. The only thing to watch out is that the gyro is here. So that cap will actually more or less touch it. So we need to put something in between later to um, get a little bit of separation between those two. But yeah, that shouldn't be too much of a problem. First of all, we're going to remove this connector here. You could like use a hot air gun and heat this up and remove it that way. But I'm more kind of the um, hardcore guy. Let me put it that way. I like to destroy stuff as I just did with the <laughs> Trap-V. Um, killing a VTX thing demonstrated. I actually have a similar video for the Revolt, the Race Light Revolt. You can stack that one as well. So I think that's actually easier if I just desolder those pins now. I'll let this heat up. And then the show goes on. So just like that. So Number three and number four is that as well. Okay, so let's make sure nothing's bridged. Okay, that looks good. And I'll need there it is. those pads here. To go on to, better say, into this one. So I'll just start with soldering like that. And I'll probably just zoom in a little bit whoops so the pins are here I'm pushing the FC down and putting some of this on here so let's get some solder on the tip I know you shouldn't be doing it that way, but I just love doing it that way. The right thing to do would be to heat the pad and the 
uh, and add the solder later. So I'm happy with with how it's here, but not with the middle one. That sure needs some more heat. Or some more solder. Yeah. I mean we're talking about a receiver, so there should shouldn't be much of a current flow. On this one I will leave the um, voltage and race lab timer connector on there. So we'll be careful since the USB port is here. You will rip it off if you squeeze it down too hard. Which you see, one pad is actually already has a little bit for solder on it, so I have to heat it up to get it moving. Actually, both have. Nice. We still need to add some solder to the most lead pin. This might be a little bit much. Always better with flux. So now, so now I'm checking if it's touching the gyro and it actually is touching the gyro. So I'm just slightly bending it up. And I'll make sure I reflow the bottom as well, putting some. More flux on it. One at a time. Yeah, that looks solid. Okay. I think that looks really good. Now let's snip off those. pieces left sticking out closing my eyes every time I cut because I forgot to bring my safety glasses so that's pretty flush and now let's get to this one shrapnels shrapnels everywhere and the last one So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so now we have our Spectrum Flight Controller receiver stack. Pretty cool. So this will run Race Flight 1 as well. So you get um, the B directional telemetry and RC link from this one um, TX RX pad. So it's actually a TX pad, but it works as an RX pad. Uh, yeah, right. 
Okay. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.